dun, 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 dun. There we go. Anyway, happy Friday. This is Star Traders Frontiers. This is a game again we played earlier this year uh, for a little bit, and we still do have a game running, if I remember right. We've got Captain Gimpy, level 20. What is Gimpy? Gimpy is a uh, pirate of some sort, I believe. Yes, that's the little icon here. Starting profession was a pirate. So what is this game? This game is a turn-based survival and space type deal. You can, as a, the title says, you can be a trader or a merchant or you just, you know, move goods around, that kind of stuff. But there's other occupations like pirates and that kind of stuff. And it's all pretty much, you know, a do as you want. There's a story. Um, i trying to remember. So these are our missions. Expose cash. Deadline is eight years, 21 weeks. Time is a thing. There's all kinds of different factions. They all hate me, I'm pretty sure, except for one. It's the one I'm working for. Technically, Gimpy isn't a pirate. He's a Corsair, just to be clear. That's why we, there's one faction that likes him, and that's the faction we're working for. But everybody else hates us. So. Uh, I don't remember what that is. We'll look at that in a second. No contacts. So there's different contacts out there that you can talk to for, for missions and that kind of stuff. All the people we're currently in contact with. Now we've worked our way through the first part of the storyline. And I don't know how much of it goes past there because I've never really completed the game. This is this is technically my first playthrough. <laughs> so uh, let's see. No rumors. No faction politics. So these are the different factions. House Thulin, these are the guys we work for. So we're exemplar with them, the 362 reps, so that means they love us. Everybody else, oh, these guys are neutral, so they don't hate us. But everybody else, we're infamous outlaws or crime lords, or legendary crime lords, even better. So as you can see, no real friends. Now this is a bad thing, actually. Because as a because they don't like us, it means it's uh, very difficult to get necessary resources like um, uh, fuel <laughs> when we land at their bases. So, how do we get fuel? Well, we can uh, be a pirate and take them from other ships that we run into. That's one way of doing it. Uh, let's see, Serpent's Run. I don't know. Is that Star Atlas? That's not. I guess this is where you search for stuff. Again, kind of rusty here. No, we don't liberate. We acquire. So this is the map as uh, we know it. So as you can see, we haven't been too far off to the sides. We've been mainly around this area. And from here, you can see, you know, basically this the factions that control these different uh, sectors, I suppose. Uh, it looks like we're going that way. So again, you can just hover over them. See, there tells you three independent systems. There's three Clan Sendrin, three Templar Order systems. So you can basically see what's in the system before you go over there. All that kind of stuff. Consult officers. So we do have officers. This is our fuel gauge. Let you know how many. Much, oh, that's right. Water is water is our fuel. The marker indicates the minimum amount of water fuel required to make a hyperwarp jump. If it produces a containment field for our ship's void engine. Yes, we know that. Oh, look, it's Lieutenant Commander Fukuzela. And cute little kitten killed everybody. Go kitten. Then we have Lieutenant Jimmy. Da, da, da. So, blue bar at the bottom. This is our fuel. So we're okay for now, I think. And this is our crew. So... How much crew is dependent on how big your ship is. Are you still alive? Amazingly, yes. So is Hobo. Hobo is our doctor, medic, combat medic. So that's Hobo's job. That's what, that's what Hobo does. Then this is Eric's. Eric's is our, our chief engineer, it looks like. Then Lieutenant Jimmy is our security officer. Then we have uh, Lieutenant Commander Rukuls, who is our quartermaster. Then we have Gwydian, who is a, I don't know, bounty hunter soldier. I'm not sure how that falls in, what his job is. And then these guys are just uh, people, I think. Let's 
Yeah, the first six. These guys are officers. That's why they have, you know, lieutenant, whatever, in front of them. Right? So these guys are, you know, the important people. It's harder for them to die than it is for these guys to die. This is our regular crew. I think we have a couple of people that were named after somebody in the channel here and there. Whether they're still alive or not, I have no idea. Because these people just, you know, have a tendency to fall or die. Life snuff forever feeling that was... Oh, there's Biff down there. So, different professions. Um, combat people, pistoliers, soldiers, troopers, swordsmen, those kind of thing. Pilots uh, to help the ship go better. Navigators, too. Uh, gunners working the guns on the ship. Mechanics, of course. E-techs, just technical. Gun deck boss, that's like a... Uh, responsible fighters and stuff on the ship, that kind of, that kind of stuff. Crew dogs, so basically just crew people that make things happen on the ship. So we've got that. Um, our actual ship. This is the Marauding Mickey. This is a cruiser, I believe. It's got... Uh, so, the ship is divided up into large, medium, and small components. Looks like we have some damage here and there. The little red markers there. Um, so again, there's engine, uh, hyperwarp drive, cargo space. Uh, this is luxury cabin for m doing special missions, like specific type of car uh, cargo passengers. Then there's crew quarters here. Hill boost, so this gives us a better capacity. Structure, we got some damage going on. We got medical bag, fuel boost, weapons locker down here that looks damaged. Uh, other crew quarters. So I guess these are officer quarters. Now that's 18 crew. Oh, these are the officer quarters here. So it doesn't make sense, does it? This only gives us four officers, but we have five. <laughs> These small slots to remind you of online. It's actually nothing like Eve at all, to tell you the truth. And, okay, these are various weapons that we have. Um, this, these are rail guns. So the way weapons work a little differently, um, basically they have ranges uh, where they're effective. They've got the, the best effective range, and then they've got the... Uh, or sorry, we'll just, we'll just say optimal and effective ranges. In this case, when you see combat is, it's, um, it's like a positioning. There's like... Um, say five five points on on your side or five locations on your side and five locations on the other side or no wait a minute i guess it's just distance distance from the other ship that you'll be fighting in this case it's one to five so rail guns are only effective from slots two through four with being the best at three that's what the little red star is for that's their best thing right I think, again, I gotta get reacclimated to this. I haven't played this in a few months. But I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Right? So you got that. And then we have uh, barrel cannons. These are like um, closer range weapons. They're only effective at slots one and two. Or when the ship is, the enemy ship is within one or two spaces. Best spot is, of course, one. So we got three of those. These are auto cannons, I thought. But these are auto cannons. And then these are particle cannons, right? Plasma cannons. Okay. So yeah, so these are these are auto cannons. It's called a barrel cannon, but the, in the second box it says auto cannon. So again, rail guns, auto cannons. You know, really effective up close. And then these guys uh, being uh, plasma cannons, kind of mid range, just like the rail guns. So got that. So different quality, they do different stuff, different types of damage, that kind of thing. You can see how that works here, and I'm sure in a little while. So there's our weapon, or this is this the ship. And again, we are damaged. <laughs> we need to find a place to get repaired, I think. So and there's our crew, and then the, there's also combat with the crew. Um, you can board other ships, and uh, you bring, I think, four people in. And the weapons for these guys works basically the same way as it does for the ships. There's a distance requirement for some weapons to work. Some don't work, you know, only work at long range. Others only work up close. And then there's mid range, that kind of stuff. And they've got special abilities too, based on their classes. Classes really apply. 
mostly a big deal, bigger deal for the officers. Oh, so one, two, three, four, five. So one of these. Hmm, that's weird. We have five officers, but we only have have quarters for four of them. I don't know how that works. But then there's a leveling up process. Um, dun, 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 what is it? Jobs. So you have jobs. Like Gimpy is a level 9 bounty hunter, level 10 commander, level 5 uh, pirate. I think you can only have three jobs at most for officers. Regular crew members only get one. But the officers can have multiple jobs in this case. So they get the more bonuses to their stuff. Like uh, to rifles, evasion, intimidate, blah, blah, blah. More stuff. And the higher level this stuff goes, it opens up their talents. Which are based on the levels of their jobs. So these are all the different things that... Uh, Gimpy knows how to do. Except for the stuff that's grayed out, of course. He doesn't know how to do that yet. So you got that kind of stuff. So. And then you have Hobo. You can see his, his stuff is different. It's based on him being a doctor and a combat medic. So he's basically a healer, buffer, debuffer type person. Your components may grant you a plus one officer quarters. Oh, hey, Trees. Welcome back. So, for those who don't know, Trees Brothers are the makers of this game. One of our other components may give us a bonus. There we go. It's medical. It's this one. It's the medical clinic. clinic. Hello, Water everyone. Course. Quarters for one officer. My name is Veronica, and welcome so we to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Welcome back, Hurricane. And thank you for the gift sub to uh, Trees Brothers. Okay, so these guys. That's where we're headed. Okay, so here we go with some. Uh, this is a bounty hunter. So we are only choices to fight them. So we can do a ship report. Uh, our defense is outclassed theirs. Their engine speed outclasses ours. And their engine agility is, is better than ours too. But we beat them up in every other area there. So we shall fight them. Yes, Hurricane has given out a, a fair number of uh, gift subs. He's very generous that way. Okay, so this is combat. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. So I think we have uh, 10 reactor points. This uh, determines what we can do. Right now we are outside a range of all our weapons. So we definitely want to get uh, closer. So we're going to advance. As far as talents go... So these talents are being granted to us by various crew members. Um, we've got uh, three bars, or just over two bars to play around with. So first things first is scatter shot, bombardment, elusive barrage. Uh, we're not shooting anything yet. Buff ship with range change, escape for the next three turns if we want. Let's charge, rally cry. They'll say protocols, scanners, boosted shields. So buffs your ship with the shields and radiation boost, that kind of stuff. Mass getaway, perfected approach. Always tracking of the enemy allows rapid closing. Buff ship with uh, one reactor points, shield, and that kind of stuff. Treat the wounded. Engine reboot. Hunt and seek. These look different from the last time I played. <laughs> These look different. <laughs> okay, so we want to get it close as possible, as fast as possible. So, um... Dun -dun. Sharp steering. So, 15 to range change, which we're doing. So, next three turns. Yeah, let's do that. So activate this as our talent, and since again, none of our weapons are within range, we shall end our turn, and hopefully we get closer. 
Now I'm sure there's been, I know there's been at least one chance patch because I added the um, uh, mod capability to the game, which I haven't really looked at yet. But um, so yeah, it looks like there's been some changes. But we've got a little bit closer. Our range is only four now. So we are in range of uh, four of our weapons. So we can continue to advance for four reactor points and then we can fire some of these guys. These require three reactor points each to shoot. Oh, those are two. So that would be what? Four, seven total if we do that. We only have six, so we'll fire both of these uh, rail guns against him. And then a talent. Once the lock is established, your enemy is less likely to escape. If any ship weapons hit, it's this crippling attack causes a reduction of defense, escape, and morale damage per turn for the next three turns. Let's activate that. Okay, so we're moving closer, firing two weapons, and uh, doing that thing too. Ow. Apparently we're not really evasive here. We are burning. So, current effects. Elect we have an electrical fire that's doing component damage per turn. We're losing crew per turn as well, or damage to them. So we probably want to clean that stuff up if we can. Uh, let's see, what talents can we do? Signature harmony, bombardment, use of barrage, precision, short steering, broadside. Accessible movement to a closer range. We definitely want to get closer. We want to get close enough to board, basically. Urges your ship's crew of any crippling effects. Restores intimidate skill. Buff ship with 20% protection against crew and morale damage per turn for the next two turns. So, crew damage, that's what this one is. Right? No, that's ship. Sorry, the electrical fire is ship because it says it is. So, we don't want that. Be nicer if they had designed Combat Master of Orion 2 style where you actually see yourself move. No, this is not, this is totally not like that. This is very different, Anikatos. This is a very different game. It takes place in space, and that's about all they share in common. <laughs> okay, this removes the crippling effects here. So we'll use that one. And then we'll fire some more weapons. Again, yeah, only six points, some more rail guns. So we're at three range, so that's basically optimal firing range for the rail guns. Stop shooting my ship. He's trying to get away. But we're closer and closer. Continue to advance. Talent wise. We still have electrical fire on the ship. I thought we got rid of that. This is accuracy and defense. Dun, dun, dun. Well, the thing is, is in Ikatos, you haven't seen all the combat yet. <laughs> this is only one part of the combat. This is basically ship to ship combat. There's also a crew to crew combat too, which wouldn't work the same way. So there is a reason for this. Okay, so we can treat our wounded. Engine reboot, hunt and seek, ECM surge, lightning lock, uh, heal the crew. Oh, this only heals three crew. Or up to medical rating times three on ships with advanced medical facilities. Each patient gains plus. Hmm. Devastating shock. Any ship weapons hit, the crippling attack causes uh, less damage. Range change for the next four turns. Signature hauling. Little skill. Yeah, we need to. So it's only the ship fire that's a problem. We're almost at range, so we're going to use our uh, Treat the Wounded, see how that helps. As far as weapons go, keep shooting. Although, 
He's only suffering this stuff right now. Yeah, actually, let's uh, open up with these. Oh, these are in range too. We can fire all four of those right there. So, let's get closer. Kurtaker is more illustrated. You'll see. If we don't die before we get there. Okay. So, now we're close enough we can board the enemy ship. So we're going to board. And we're going to keep shooting as we do that. As far as talents go. Can we repair our ship anyway? Ancient reboot. Lightning lock. ECM charge. Buffs launch for like no, we don't do any craft yet. Here's the ship engine by ten percent. Our engine is okay, I think. I think the red is our hull and the blue I think is our engine. Oh, I was tracking for the enemy. Rapid closing. Blah. Radiant resist, uh, void resist. Yeah, let's do defense. Okay, so we're going to be trying to board here. Weapons, we're shooting two of them. It's everything. Oh, look at all the damage we have. This is not going well. But this starship was already damaged when we entered this fight. Okay, so this would be crew fighting. Now we got a little couple of injured people. Uh, we've got, uh, oops, this is Gwydion. Gwydion has, um, what is he? He prefers slot four. He's a soldier and a bounty hunter. Then we have Gimpy, he prefers, prefers slot four. He's a uh, pirate bounty hunter commander. Then we have Hobo, who prefers, prefers slot two. And then in slot one there is Ollie. First slot one as a trooper. So yeah, you can see how this is. So as you can see, we're going in. Gimpy and um, Gwydion are already wounded. That's the yellow bar. Blue is like the morale. So we'll be fine. Yes, I played X2, X3, and X4. Okay, so... As you can see, this is a similar combat style to what the ships do. Um, but instead of fighting ships, we've got uh, individual people on each side. They've got all their own little special abilities. And currently it's uh, Polly's turn. So Polly is a trooper. All right? Crew combat. So an automatic buff of shock and awe. So we've got a little buff there. Are there any space game you actually didn't try. Oh, there's plenty of Vukros. So these are all the different effects that she can do. So, Discipline, Crew Combat, removes all debuffs, not debuffed. Steadfast Aim. Successful attack buffs yourself with plus 20% ranged accuracy, ranged damage, and armor piercing for two turns. So, we will shoot uh, hmm, the Sniper Guy. Oh, sorry, this was uh, Gwydion back here. Okay, it's the blue box. There it is. Okay, so her job as a trooper. Close blast. Um, regardless of your, your talents, a snubber can never fire from the fourth position. Okay. This. Okay, so retaliation. Your combat rifle attack, successful attack, buffs yourself with two initiative, 15 melee defense, 15% range defense, counter attacks, uh, enemy attacker in front two rows, 50% chance to end after each counter for three turns. Deep strike grenade. Or rapid bandage, so that's a heal thing. She doesn't really need that. So do retaliation first and shoot. Uh, douchebag and missed ow that hurt okay 
Hobo's job is to heal people, specifically Gwydion, it looks like. So, Cleansing Purge. Moves all debuffs, restores 10 plus 25 Doctor at HP and morale. This is heals entire team for less. This is a poison grenade and poison slugs. So, must heal Gwydion. Hopefully Gwydion doesn't die on us. Gwydion's turn again. Backline leader and crew combat buffs entire team with all this fun stuff, so do that. No. That's not good. So Gimpy is doing a uh, rallying aura, so another buff for the whole team. Hey Biff, welcome back. You don't believe me that I haven't played some games? Let's see, so this is her turn again. Look, it's a grenade. Oh, we can't use it from here. So again, you can see the dots. That's what row they can use their ability from and what they can use it on. So you can use the retaliation, can't use that one. Close blast, shoot uh, that guy. Almost killed him. Hobo. Heal the team or throw out some damage. So, this grenade works from the first line. This works from the first line, too. It's two targets initiative, poison damage, melee defense, range defense. So, hit these two losers. So, he's dead. So, he just buffed herself. Still can't use the grenade. Close blasts. Shoot that one. She's dangerous with that stupid sniper rifle. And so, can do suppressing fire. Suppress you. So it makes it harder for him to hit stuff. Dead one. Okay, Hobo needs to heal everybody. Better. Gimpy were still buffed. Almost killed him. Um, see if we wait, we can get another heal off, hopefully with Hobo. So let's do another buff. It's kind of risky to do something like this, but he missed. And she can heal herself. Dun -dun. See, Gimpy can't heal himself. Her combat intimidating command causes 20 morale loss, drags target forward one slot. So, short shows morale, another heal. Now uh, she's full. Elbow oh, will do one more heal. There we go. And suppressing fire or full auto. There we go. So that was kind of risky doing that to get heals off. <laughs> but the reason we don't want the heals is because um, the next boarding action we're going to bring the same group. So. And Vukul. What? So what did Biff just win? Did Biff win a duel? Is that what's going on there? It's nostalgia, Anikos. Anikatos. It's that's all nostalgia. That if you think Homeworld uh, doesn't look as good, it's it's all nostalgia reasons. Because <laughs> back then it was like, "Ooh, this is awesome." Now today, you go, "Oh, this is kind of crappy, actually." <laughs> anyway, so after we win the battle, we have choices. Uh, what more do we want to do? This is what we do. Um, we can depart. Tourist members of your fighting crew gain experience. Sabotage the enemy ship. Enemy's weapons locker A5 near uh, enough to a strike. It's near enough to strike. Opponent is 40% damage, and our sabotage could cause 30 to 80% damage. So, what this does is screws with their ability to bring weapons into the fight. Right? 
Terrified enemy crew suffers accuracy, defense, range change, and morale damage range for four turns. Let's screw up the damage on their weapons. And we can panic the crew too, apparently. So we'll do that. So, as a tourist and return to our ship after striking our uh, follow up low. There we go. Okay, so, we're gonna board again. Gonna shoot them some more. Talent wise. Uh, is there anything we can do? So we have multiple things going on against us, so we're going to use this one to purge everything off of us. Hopefully, and in turn. And boarding again. Ah. <sighs> He avoided the board? You jerk. We cleared all the stuff off of us. So this represents all the damage that he's taking. <laughs> or buffs and that kind of stuff. Um, board. I think he's avoiding our, our boarding attempts, it seems like. Not this time. Okay, so, look, they're all nice and rested, ready to go. So off for the fight. So basically we keep boarding until they don't have anybody left to fight. With, sorry. As long as they need people to fight for them. So uh, let's do uh, backline leader out of Gwydion. That's for everybody. Okay, this is you. So you can actually throw a grenade now. So take morale damage mostly there. Ah, he's actually stunned. It's Gwydion's turn. Full auto, suppressing fire. Unfaltered iron. When intimidating target hits two targets. Removes all buffs and that kind of stuff. Let's do that. Hit those two. So remove their buffs that they just did. Ow. Does a buffer over here. Resistance is futile. It is futile, because look, Boba's got a poison grenade. I'm not going to try to pick on Hobo. Um, she does okay. Retaliation. So he's out of, she's out of the fight. He's out of the fight. Something like that. So this is Steadfast Aim, Hunter's Challenge, causes 20 to morale most, drags target one forward, slow, forward one slot, um, or Suppressing Fire, Full Auto, it's two targets. That's ah, not going to save you. Quit shooting Hobo. Grenade? No. Retaliation? Just a regular core blast. Shoot that one. Ow. Hobo needs a turn. Nice miss. Hobo can repair herself or himself. That'll work. One was full auto against two. Yeah, two. So one down, one more to go. He can take the abuse. Uh, sort of, kind of. Gippy's a really bad shot. He really sucks with weapons, just so everybody understands that. And she's not too good either. Let's heal everybody. Ah, uh, who was the only one who needed that? Retaliation still up. There we go. Boss fight. Tubby, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. I heard the squirrel is looking for you. 
I think if you checked out our upcoming game, Cyber Knights Flashpoint, it gave it big step in graphics quality. Well, that's fine. Do you have a release date yet? <laughs> in all I mean, I've seen you guys advertise it on Twitter quite a bit. And I'm just, I haven't really looked at it on Steam, but do you have a release date? Or is it, it'll be ready when it's ready? Planned releases next year. Okay, that works. From Steam, right. Yeah, that's on Steam stuff. Okay, so... Um, Reinforced bar uh, Barracks 3 is enough to strike. It's only 5% 5, 5 damage. We'll panic the crew first. More ready when it's ready. <laughs> That's fine. In today's world, it's a, that's a better answer than giving a specific date, in all honesty. Okay, sabotage this. How come we don't have as many abilities as we used to have? I thought that we had more choices before. Anyway. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Actually tired of that. They give a date, and then they have to rush it, and then it's not actually ready. And if they don't... and this is one of the upsides of being an indie, of course, an indie developer is you usually don't have a big publisher behind you pushing to go, you have to hit this release date, whether it's ready or not. As an independent developer, you have a little bit more control. The downside, of course, is you don't have as much money backing you, but you know, it's a, it's a nice little ugly balance you have to choose from. And in all honest, and again, in honesty, I'd rather see you know, a well-made independent game made that releases whenever it releases versus a AAA title that's got millions of dollars behind it and it releases as a piece of shit, which we've seen in the past fairly recently, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Given the choice, I want the quality indie game over the crappy AAA game. So, yeah. Yeah, Squadron 42 was supposed to release in, yeah, two years ago. And it's still being worked on. They just sent an email out, I think, the other day saying it's still being worked on. It's like, come on, finish it already. Anyway, good job, Vukuls and Hurricane beating up on a spider with a Gauss rifle. Okay, so we're back to ship, ship combat. So, board again, shoot them again. Because I got lots of uh, hulls still. So, I think we're good. Squadron 42 will be released uh, five years after it takes place in the game. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's do this again. Again, we keep uh, boarding over and order over again because we don't really want to destroy the ship because we're going to try to salvage as much as we can. That's the general idea, I think, unless something's changed, of course. Uh, let's do uh, the buffs. Throw a grenade. That hurts them morale and possibly stuns them. Endless builds for your squad members. <laughs> okay, so this is our biopoison slugs. Crippling attack causes bio damage. Reduces their melee defense, reduces their range defense for three turns. That's one target. This one, damage, same thing, but hits multiple people. Hobo and his damage. <laughs> Rukulis is asking the important questions that we all want to know. Can we name them and can they die? I'm going to go with probably yes, Vukrols. Uh, let's see, was it? Oh, auto fire. That's the shoot more than one. You're dead. You're hurting. Grenade, don't need the grenade. Uh, let's do retaliation just in case I try to. Uh. Shoot her just like that. Oh, she's not. Oh, she can already retaliate against the first two, I think. Gimpy. 
buff. Kill, kill. We're story focused on your squad members. Who you help, who stays loyal. That's a good mechanic too. It's kind of tricky, but it's good. Hobo. Let's do a heal. Everybody just in case. Yeah, we're all fine. So morale broke. Break. So these guys, we, they don't want to fight us anymore. It's okay. We can accommodate them. Ta-da. Vukros, that was Hurricane, that wasn't Hobo. You're just the wrong age. Hey, okay, panic the crew, sabotage the ship, and depart. So we should be winning this any day now. You'll continue to shoot, because once you kill off all their uh, crew, or at least when they have nobody worth fighting, they will surrender. Is it just... Well, we'll do it this way. Aren't your legs getting stiff? You haven't moved in quite a while. Stretch, damn it, you ignorant meatbag. There we go. That should be their uh, Twitch channel, I believe. He just sold two knives to a bear or a wolf. Because if you sold them to a wolf, Jeff's going to be upset. Okay, these guys are mostly kind of already dead, so we're just going to start shooting. <laughs> these guys are pretty wimpy, so again, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, it's going to be on somebody else's. Okay, just a second. If you have their link. Okay, so you can share their uh, their Twitch channel if you want. Gimpy, start shooting stuff. Injured hobo. Shoot, shoot this one with poison. See how he likes it. Wow, that was nasty with that little gun. I think his gun. Oh, that's right. His gun is or her gun is a little souped up. I think. Ah, no problem. Thanks for sharing it. Letting us know. <laughs> I don't think Canada has nuclear weapons for girls. I mean, they might, but I don't think they do. Suppressing fire. Doesn't matter. Okay, so panic the crew, sabotage the ship, and depart. So there's still some left, huh? Keep shooting. I mean, we got, we got a long way before the ship blows up, so we can keep shooting them. You live next to a nuclear power plant. So just get a couple of vials of the of the runoff water and you should be good. So I hope it's a little injured. Um, buff everybody. 
refocus. There's no refocusing. Look, it's a grenade. Oh, look, it's another grenade. <laughs> oh, look, it's a lot of bullets. Keep your dodges. Keep your shoots back. And blast away. Uh oh, I was going to say he didn't die. Oh, he bled out. So, panic the crew, sabotage the ship, and depart. Not enough surviving crew to man the battle station, so we win. Okay, so this is the good stuff. So, we can destroy the enemy ship with all hands and then salvage the wreckage. We would suffer a major reputation loss with the syndicate ship. Uh, right chart. Yeah, like that's going to be changing anything. We could hold the enemy ship and crew for ransom. Uh, pay whatever. Conscript the crew. Take fuel. First we take fuel. Then we're going to loot the cargo. Oh, we do have cargo. Or is this... No. This is stuff. So, 36 units. Our co cargo is currently full, it looks like, though. Claim all. Cargo hold is full. Um, our cargo. How do I see my cargo again? Oh, there we go. So what are we carrying? Uh, we're carrying some scrap, some geranium, weapon components, and xeno artifacts. They've got fuel, methane fuel, which is legal, 20 average, 36 max, luxury rations. You can ditch this. this. We can legally sell this stuff, or we can try to get rid of this stuff illegally. It's only 11 units, so we'll take all of them. And we can't take all of it, because we don't have room. Dun, dun, dun. Eh, we're fine. Okay, so crew. There are three able bodied spacers able to, uh, aboard the ship. Uh, by Star Trader's law, ship crew joins as full members of your crew and are added to your payroll. However, they start with low morale and may have lingering bad traits. Uh, minor reputation loss. Did I lose crew? Do I have room for the crew? E-Tech gunner and a pilot. I don't even know what I need, but I sure you want to press uh, this level of security. This cannot be undone, although you can later dismiss. Yes. Yes. I guess that worked. I don't know. Uh, we did the cargo. Ransom everything else or destroy it. We don't have any room in our cargo bay to sell it, so we're just going to ransom on Blah, officials arrived properly, paid uh, 11,900, or sorry, 11.9 thousand uh, credits in ransom. The crew was released and the ship was returned to the commanding officer. So we get all this stuff. Crew experience, leave. So, picked up some fuel, <laughs> picked up some cargo. Somebody leveled up, it looks like, maybe. Oh, there we go. So that person leveled up. A couple of people. Oh, this is the new person I think we just picked up. So train your talents. So, one point to spend. Bombardment, raking fire, firing orders. That is it for you. Under continual attack, an enemy ship struggles to return fire. If any weapon, any ship weapons hit, this crippling attack causes an accuracy penalty. Craft reduces the damage potential. Softening your target increases the damage of every additional hit. If any ship weapons hit, 
This crippling attack causes a reduction in shield armor for the next three turns. Buff ship with the accuracy and damage for the next three turns. Sure, I like that one. doing wrong. Oh, they already she already has stuff. We're looking for new stuff that she can. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Just space them? I well, we didn't really want to space them. Ship combat allows a boarding attempt from the range of ring. This is running. This I'm confused. Oh, never mind. There's a train button. There we go. Again, <laughs> haven't played this in a while. Got to get used to where everything is. Okay, so your talents. Evasive maneuvers. Buff ship with the plus 25 beef defense and shield armor for the next three turns. Yes. I'm surprised we didn't have this on somebody already. But now we have it, so we're good. Okay, good thing we conscripted those people, huh? Okay. Slot one, level 20. That'll work. Okay, off we go. Oh, I just noticed something. The text box is Hello everyone. being blocked there. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. That's okay. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thank you for watching, and uh, happy Friday. So we're just... So there's no friendly systems in this area, I don't think. All those guys hate us. Because, you know, pretty much everybody hates us. It's just a matter of finding the Council of Factions or the House Stool, and these are the only ones that are going to really let us dock at their stations. And they're not in a system. So on we go. <laughs> so there's all kinds of stuff happening. And look, it's another ship. Our ship has not been repaired yet. And we're better than them. Surrender to looting. Bite me. Target is climbing without identifying as pirate. Extremely hostile. But we're pirates too. Why are you so hostile to us? Okay, so we advance. Can't shoot yet. Talents. Where's our evasive one that we just picked up? Evasive maneuvers. And go. So much for evasion. We are so beat up. Fire away, advance, talents, targeting lock, so it's likely to escape. He's not trying to. If any ship weapons hit, this crippling attack causes a reduction of defense, escape, and morale damage per turn for the next three turns. Reduces their armor, range change, escape chance, morale damage for three turns, bombardment. Under continual attack, an enemy ship struggles to uh, return fire if any ship weapons hit. This crippling attack causes 15% accuracy to hit craft, 10% damage from for the next three turns. Shots present, prevent pursuit. If any ship weapons hit, causes accuracy reduction, range change for the next three turns. Uh, accuracy. Let's do guided fire. And again, continue to advance and shooting two guns. They are so beat up. So 
So he's trying to get closer to us, which is good, because that's what we're trying to do. Again, our weapons, <laughs> two of our weapons for, sh for using here don't work. So we stop evasion. Devastating shot. Reduces their damage reduction, raking fire. Reduces their shield and armor. Let's do that. Now, stop it. That hurt a lot. That really hurt. Our ship is so beat up. We got all kinds of problems now. Advance. Oh, look, we can shoot two of those. Let's use uh, the auto cannon. We could use more, but we've got damage. Too much damage. So, do we have anything to get rid of our crew and ship stuff? We're still evading. Boosted shields. CC I'm sure. Blah. Boarding assault. Oh, we can board from here. Let's board from here. They won't expect that. Yay, evasion. How can we get board? We've got no weapons left. <laughs> hey, Banner, welcome back. We've got no weapons left. Our evasion is gone. So let's activate that again. The hot tub is currently offline, Banner. Maybe later. But it's currently offline. Reading board again? I'm getting better at dodging. Mm -hmm. Target damage for every additional hit. Signature homing, so. Reduces their defense, reduces armor, inflicts morale damage for the next three turns on the crew. So let's do that one. Can only fire one weapon because nothing else is operational. Okay, we need repairs. Yeah. Oh, she is kind of hurt. We should take her spot. We need somebody in the one slot. Lieutenant Jimmy is kind of beat up too. Looking at the slots here, so that's her. Kind of beat up, mostly beat up, really beat up at slot two. Ah, uh, Biff is ready to go. Biff's going at the slot one. Let's see how he does. Auto buffs. Okay, so Biff has aim focus, so he does uh, hits better, fire. So that's a buff for him. Gwydion, buff everybody. Start shooting. Oh, wait a minute, that's a buff. Shoot. Uh, she's the most wounded, it looks like. Ow, that hurt. Vaccination watch. You biff. Hunter's challenge. Terminate command. Don't you have a something that removes their buffs? Successful attack buffs yourself. With this, that stuff. Moves all their buffs, so get rid of that stuff for you. 
Shoot that person, Biff. Why'd you miss? Gimpy, buff everybody. Defense. Ow. Seriously. Um, suppressing fire? Or let's do full auto. Go oh, Biff. Biff's got all kinds of points to use. Look at that. Biff for three kills, I think. Hobo. Uh, let's heal everybody. Good dodge. Get Gimpy. Wow, Gimpy actually hit. Shocking. So Biff was the killer there. Okay, so panic the crew. Sabotage their ship. So light railgun is near enough to strike. It's at 0% damage, though. And next stuff. Okay, so continue the boarding, do the fighting there. Talents, we're still evading. Um, this does morale damage to the crew. So, let's do more morale damage, I guess. Okay, so, continue with this group again. So we've got some competent fighters, it looks like. They all look pretty beat up. Good in. Buff us. Biff. Now, poor Hobo. Defense from Gimpy. And Hobo heal everybody. Ow. Ow. Well, that's not good. Oh, he can shoot from here, though. Oh, all his buffs are gone. Suppression fire, auto, full auto. Sci-fi darkest dungeon, kinda. Buff again. Similar style here, but it's not really darkest dungeon. Hobo, you biff. Probably should have shot him for, for her first. Gimpy's in a bad position to shoot, so. Move, no. Move that way. Uh, full auto is always good. Mm. Stores hit points of morale. See that for you. This. We mainly did that so Hobo can heal. That's why we had to skip that ability. Don't miss. So it's pistol versus pistol, apparently. Because nobody else is getting turns. Okay, so panic the crew. Sabotage the ship. And depart. Seems like we have less abilities. I think our crew is really beat up. I think that's what the real reason is. And we shoot, board, and we're still dodging. And all set. There you go. Resolve the buffs, buff yourself with the uh, range defense, armor, resist the buffs. That removes their buffs. This is suppressing fire, it's only good for one. Yeah. For everybody. Nice miss. 
Get him hover with the poison grenade. Buff Biff with the pistol thing. Just press him fire. Wow. They're in trouble. Oh, you're a healer, huh? You should have healed yourself. <laughs> Get buff from Gimpy. Trying to kill Hobo. Nice miss. Nice dodge. Shoot, that one is mostly dead. Okay, she needs to die. Ah, good shot. Keep me with the crit. Miss. Um, what? Hmm. Let's just take this opportunity to get rid of that buff. And yeah, that hobo can heal Biff. And that Biff can kill this person. Ta-da. Okay, so, panic the crew. Sabotage the ship. And that. Okay, board again. Keep shooting, because I got lots of stuff. We are no longer dodging, though. Bus launched friendly craft. We don't have any friendly craft. They're not launching crit crit or crafty there. <laughs> okay, so we're good. So they're not super accurate. Their crew is pretty panicked. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Mm, look at them in their nice little outfits. Buff everybody. Biff. Nice miss. Uh, let's do. They have no buffs yet, so do full auto. Kill this guy. Poison grenade. You're doomed. Gimpy, just shoot that one. Sniper versus sniper, Gimpy wins. Okay, kill this guy. That one should die from poison. No problem. Okay, so terrified enemy crew suffers accuracy, defense, range change, morale. So they're taking tons of morale damage. You can tell because you can see all the crippling dreads. <laughs> That's from all our boarding actions. So basically they're sh they can't hit the broad side of a barn because they're, what, minus 60% accuracy just from that stuff alone. So we will continue to board and shoot and turn. That's why they can't, they're not hitting us. It's because the crew is just so panicked. They should just surrender. It's so much quicker for everybody. Tactical edge. Oh look, it's a poison grenade. Oh, look, it's full auto. So they're going to die from the poison. So buff Biff. Shoot that person. How come the poison hasn't killed him yet? Okay, Hobo. You Biff. Never surrender. There's two dead. Oh, there we go. Stop shooting Biff. Let's do suppressing fire on you. No, he's not poisoned. Oh, we should have removed their buffs. That's okay. Okay, Hobo, heal Biff. Nice miss, and Gimpy finish him off. 
for now. So, continue to panic the crew. Sabotage the ship and depart. Support again. Keep shooting and then turn. Yeah, their chance to hit is so low. Here we go. Boarding, boarding, boarding. So with all the pistols, I'm guessing they're running out of people to fight us with, so... Let's shoot them. How about with the grenade? That one should die. Nice miss. Yippee, kill that one. Biff, kill that one. Poison, kill this person, please. There we go. And continue to panic the crew. Barracks 3 is under enough to strike. It is already 100% damaged. So just depart. And they've got no more crew to fight with. Or fight for them. Okay, so first things first. Take their fuel. Get the cargo. We find uh, this stuff. It's actually decent stuff in here. Can we assimilate them? Um, maybe. We'll have to see. So this stuff is kind of cheap. So we're going to dump this. And then we're going to take their uh, legal. We don't have that much room. So permit restricted. Take as much as we can of this. 17. Okay, it's not too horrible. Okay, so. Oh, there's no. Uh, we're not. We can't in, um, conscript any of them this time around. Because I think we're full on crew. We, didn't, we haven't lost any crew lately. So. So, destroy or ransom. Again, destroying. There's no point to really rent to destroying the ship because we don't have any room on our cargo. Hey, bag of water. So ransom. Stretch your legs. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. Okay, so uh, we get twenty thousand for the ransom, and that's it. Here we go. So there's no friendly. Oh god! Don't sell it. They just want to fight us. Ship report. Oh, this is good. Our enemy's defenses outclass our ship's attack accuracy because we have no weapons left. All our weapons have basically been destroyed. It's a heavy lifter. Level nine zealot. Seventeen cargo and forty-three crew. We can't run, right? Well, we can't run from here. So fight. We'll see if our uh, talents will let us get out of here, maybe. Targeting lock, scatter shot, bombardment, loose barrage. Guided fire, there's an invasion. Surge, wild flying. Rallying cry doesn't help me. Mass getaway. Rapid navigation can make for a quick escape. Buff ships with the uh, shield to blah escape for three turns. So activate this and escape. Attempting to flee combat. That's fine. Now, stop it. Yay, we've escaped. <laughs> okay, so... Our ships have been cleared. Reputation loss, don't care. So all the green stuff we can't do anything about. So, continue on. So, hyper warp drop. Quadrant-wide radiation storm affecting uh, Alzian Core greatly increases the risk of hyperwarp uh, travel. We are about to hyperwarp jump along the water. Blah, 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 hyperwarp jump, whatever. 
Okay. There's no friendly. Oh, wait a minute. This is a friendly port up here. Our crew can not be happy with stuff. So, this is planets. <coughs> Wait for me, I can hardly keep up. I don't know what that means. Okay, so, uh, land. So, this is what planets look like. So, we need to refuel. Auto refuel. Once we have a cohesion cushion of credits, we can consider auto refueling. Yes. We've got 1.2 million in credits, so we're good there. Repair. Oh, please, repairs. Oh, look at all this stuff that needs to be repaired. <laughs> yeah, ship is much better now. It's a medical bay. This is everybody who's hurt. Basically, everybody, it seems like, is hurt. Uh, spice Hall, that's to make everybody happier. Throwing away our money. Bunch of drug addicts. This is the, mor the low morale. She needs drugs to uh, make her happier. Pay the wages. Crew is healthy. Spice Hall. So, barracks are full. Okay. Um, so, cargo. So, that stuff's illegal, but we can sell this stuff. Oh, prices. Oh. I like how it tells you what the rating for the money is. That these are horrible. We can sell it, but it's uh, not much. These are not the best prices, so we can hold on to that for a little bit. It's what, 23 units in our cargo space. Eh, we didn't pay for it. <laughs> we didn't pay for it, so we don't really care how much they really give, give us. Okay, can we get a new ship? Here's a real question. So, a new ship. So, yes, you can upgrade your ships. Basically, we're up to the point where we're going to have to spend a lot of money to get a new ship. In this case, like this battle cruiser, it's 1.8 million. We only have 1.2. There's a way to not filter this. So, for sound, crew match. So, this is basically going to be a, a lateral upgrade. I think that we have a Dragoon, a Dragoon Cruiser right now. I think this is currently what we have. Well, small, eight, medium, four, large. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what we have right now. So, filter. For sale. Sort by price. It's a nice big carrier for 4.2 million, but we can't get it because it's locked down due to reputation stuff. Another battle cruiser, 2.2 million. Skylift carrier at 1.8 million. Battle cruiser at 1.8. So the only ship that we can actually afford that would be in for that. It's locked. This is a carrier. So none of these ships are really upgrades for us. This is a mass of 7,000. Again, our ship is better than these, I think. Even though they're more expensive. Ten small, seven medium, four large slots compared to twelve small, eight medium. Locked. Seven, eight. Medium slots are our 
our weapon slots right now, I think. Let's ship upgrades, though. Yeah, we're not using any of our medium slots as weapons. All our weapons are in smalls. Which is fine. If the ship gets it done. As far as upgrades go, that's the little dashes next to them are. So yeah, one, two, two, five, maybe higher. So the weapons locker, this affects um, the weapons that your crew uses. So in this case, another weapons locker here. It's alphabetical, so it's down at the bottom. They only have up to level two, so there's no upgrade for that. You can do weapon upgrades, maybe. Medical clinic, that's... So another fuel tank, me. Well, the fuel isn't really a big issue for us, I don't think. Oh, this is water reclamation. So better for your capacity, reduces our jump costs, cargo. I don't think we can get better cargo. Well, let's take a look. An armored cargo hold. So we have cargo hold four. So armored reduces our cargo capacity. Reduces our fuel capacity, but gives us more armor, shielding, and increases our jump cost. Eh. Fuel booster. So this is water fuel reclamation. So that's what we already have. So barracks. It's a luxury cabin. This is for transporting special people. Oh, 15% bonus to entire mission payment if empty. Has this one passenger in luxury cabin. Increases our armor and shielding. Regular quarters. I'm oh, sorry, barracks. This is crew barracks. Barracks 4 increases our crew, right? Boss fight. Tubby, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. I heard the squirrel is looking for you. So squad barracks, that's quarters for one officer, quarters for six crew. One jump, increases the jump cost. So again, okay, barracks too, so that's good as crew of 18. I don't think it's going to let us do the upgrade here, though. Is it? The new component will increase your bed count above the maximum crew of the ship type can support. Your ship can only support a maximum crew of 36, which is where we already are, I believe. So we can't do that. So. Squad barracks. One officer, six crew. So there's no reinforced barracks too, it looks like. It's not here. Oh, you know what you can do? You can substitute these. Substitute this with a three by replacing one of our other barracks with one of those. So there's an idea. So we could put something else up here. So cargo holds. We can put actually weapons up here. Deflector array. It's a powerful stability field reducing incoming damage for your shields as well as uh, cutting down void damage. Mm, that's tempting. Yay protections. Mm. Good job commando. Kill them all. Exploration extractors. Fuel scoops reduces uh, cost uh, patrol and that kind of stuff. More fuel tanks, hangers. We can put hangar bays in here. Docking space for small craft, but then you have to have another space to put the craft into as well. Because you need launch hangar bays and then launch bays.
So you need it's a having fighters and stuff is a two thing requirement, I believe. Mass dampener reducer, another medical bay. Now I can put missiles in. Bubble coatings. Passenger. So Component personnel damage with higher shields and uh, by reducing radiation. So it could work on our defenses or work on our offense. Our offense is fine. I think we should worry about our defense, maybe. So we can, you know, fight longer type stuff. So, against component and personnel damage with higher shields. Let's see what this does. Void resists armor, shielding, increases our jump costs. 241,000 for this one. Can't afford it. I'm trying to upgrade my ship too, but I want to make it better. Let's put this thing in. If your component provides fewer beds uh, that the component that it replaces, you would first have to dismiss 18 crew before you could proceed. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Oh, actually, I think my thinking is flawed here anyway because of... Uh, things. We can't actually upgrade the barracks anyway. Can't get them up to level 3 because... No, your ship can only support a max crew of 36, but I want to purchase it anyway. Oh, that did work. Okay, so then we can turn one of these. This is a 36. Which one's a 36? This is the 36 one. This is the one we actually want. Purchase that one. Then we can swap out one of these barracks for more structure. Or we can just upgrade these structures. So reinforced structures. So that's level two. Three or level four. It's a pretty big jump. Let's do that. It's a lot of it's almost a hundred thousand more, but that's okay. There's an old and new. I'm okay with that. So this one. So we can place these uh, barracks with something else. Our stability field reduces incoming damage with your shields, as well as cutting down void damage. Void resist, shielding, jump cost increase. We don't have any deflectors, do we? Got an engine, got that. Yeah, we don't have any shields. Put some shields in. Hmm, let's go all the way. Uh, So reinforced officer cabins. These are where you want your officers living in, right? No, it doesn't matter. But reinforced officer cabin. Officer quarters. It's only the two. That's okay. Good. More reinforced structures. 
because you can't have enough armor. Four? It's only money, right? Heck, welcome to stream. How are you liking Star Traders? Looks like you're pretty far along. I think you made it to the trial and campaign. Um, actually, this is a game that I started playing earlier this year. Um, I like it. I like the game. And the only reason I stopped playing it earlier this year was because of uh, other games and stuff came out that were distracting me. You know, <laughs> can only play one game at a time, unfortunately, and there's just so many games out there to choose from. So, yeah. But we're playing it today mainly for uh, charity reasons, because we're playing a different game um, every day this month in October, and today is Star Trader Day. Dun, dun, dun. Um, so. Speed, agility. So we haven't upgraded the firepower. Could have. We could, like, take out one of these... But he just upgraded them. That would be kind of stupid. Water fuel reclamation. We definitely want the fuel capacity. And it also reduces jump cost. Because that increases. So that's a wash. But now we have shields. This, we haven't had deflectors for some reason. But now we have a resistance to void. And just increasing our shielding. So where are those actual stats here? So our void resistance is at 68. Guess that's good. I don't know. Some fuel, armor. Oh, blocks uh, 60%. Shields blocks 48%. Oh, max is out at 60% for the shields. Oh, these max out at 60% too. Oh, wait a minute. Buffing talents in ship combat can raise armor to a maximum of 75%, but currently... Hey Gimpy, have you hydrated lately? Yes. If not, you really should. Okay, so... Shields are only at 48%, but the armor is at 60 So the question is... Oh, that's why. Because it's a plus 70% between the two of those. Just fine, I guess. Hey Jaguar, welcome back. Do extra life stuff every once in a while? Ah, ninth year for me. <laughs> so. But this increases our shielding. Increases our jump cost, though. But armor and void resists. So, I don't know. We're pretty defensive, I think. Between the deflectors now. And the So we have lots of armor. Okay, let's see how this goes. And Hurricane, thank you for that gift sub to Eck. Congratulations, Eck. Okay. So, we are our, just got to pay our crew. We're down to 500000 We need to make some more money. The pirating must continue. Oh, look at all the level up. How'd that happen? Why did that happen? What did we do to deserve leveling up? Okay, so Gimpy is uh, training jobs. So, Bounty Hunter 10 or Pirate 6 or Commander 11. I don't know what his talents require. Shredding shots, crew combat. Rifle attacks causes a bleeding deflection for two turns. It's got to be rank 11 in what? Whatever it is that is eleven bounty hunter okay so job so commander is ten bounty hunter is nine So he can pick up all these. Pirate is only going to be up to six. Acrobatic dice. So he can pick up any of these. Lethal example. Outright killing the lowest morale mutineer. This is a cool example. <laughs> okay. 
Menacing demeanor. That's a level eight. Rank wands. Eight. Frag grenade. Hmm. So what abilities should we uh, focus on getting Gimpy? Let's look at his commander stuff again. So, bark to order. In crew combat, intimidate command causes uh, reduction accuracy and damage for three turns. Knocks target back one slot. Uh, friendly craft, we don't have any. In crew combat, removes all debuffs, restores uh, morale. Shoot dealings. Accepting a mission. Gain a charisma, but a chance to discover which one of your contacts hidden traits. Buffs a ship with a 10% hit to crit craft. Damage critical for next three turns. Scorn. Crew combat. Too many combat hits uh, two targets, causes initiative reduction, armor piercing reduction, deflection reduction and for two turns in addition to morale loss. Hmm. Corsair's Eye. During a blockade of a system, Berkshire purges your ship's crew of any crippling effects, restores Intimidate, the skill worth of morale for 10 crew. Oh, that's not too bad. I'll take that one. As far as jobs go, Let's work on Bounty Hunter. No worries, Eck. Hurricane's job is to spoil you, Vukros. That's what he does. Okay, so give me level up. Hobo. Hobo is our... Combat medic, currently level 11. Oh, no new talents, so. though. Um, more doctor, more combat medic. That's a good combat medic. That's his main job, or her main job. Gwydion leveled up. Gwydion is bounty hunter, kind of, sorta, soldier. More rifles. Gets them up to plus five. Do that. Okay, this person is attack. So this is a talent. Um, already have those. An attempting to access a black market, remove a risk card. Automatically uh, passes a failed electronics test in any situation, including spying, deep space stuff. Mass ship signal prevent identification when ending a ship's encounter in a draw. Reduce uh, possible reputation stuff. Storm shielding uh, from flying through uh, radiation storms. We have one person with this talent already. Static talks on spying. It's spying. Debuffs launch enemy aircraft. We haven't seen any enemy aircraft yet. Listening post. Upon landing in an urban zone. We have two people with that one already. Vigilant scanners. Buff ship with accuracy and defense for the next two turns. We have two people with that. Shield, we have one person with that. Two people with that one. Knock from the void. Not available as it requires more higher level stuff. Um... Got lots of people with this. Hmm. Damage on flying through radiation storms. Only one person with this one, so we'll take this, just in case. It's Biff. Just like personal level up. He is a soldier person. So, close range barrage. 
crippling pistol attack, but the da rage damage successful hit causes reduction in accuracy and their damage and critical hit chance for three turns. Which gets one slot stuff. Pinning dueler stance. Moves all debuffs. Buff yourself with the plus 20% deflection, plus 25% melee defense, range defense. 50% to resist debuffs for three turns. Dueler stance. Hmm. So many choices. Crippling pistol attack causes five bleeding. Moves all buffs from the target too. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, that's everybody. Um, Academy console. So, does he have any good missions for us? Trade permit. Oh, we're already at level four. Is it? Principal trader, free trader, full trader. Burn for any transgression that causes reputation loss, okay. Two or higher, any merchants to be much recruited from contacts, okay, we're okay there. Crew needs some healing. No, they don't, they're fine. They already had some healing. Push your performance to its limit. Specialist gear. Uh, expects reciprocity in trading and valuable equipment, which would uh, burn two personal reputation. We can improve our reputation through missions or taking stuff. We've got nothing to sell. So we just don't have enough rep with him. So. Um, Discounted medical. We're already saving 15%. Alright. You wouldn't have to worry about that. Missions. So. Unknown trade. And it's a personal. It is personal and my trait will drive the types of missions I offer and who they target. Smuggler, princess, blah, blah, blah. These missions will work against, hinder, and decrease the influence of my enemy. Link minus 70. Um, let's see what this one is. Okay, in the total non political game, Retribution of Justice, Academy well, looks to uh, Locke has waited to use the contents of a hidden lockbox against Clan Zeren. Zenrin for a long time. The day has arrived. Six feet under. The lockbox was buried long ago on Sedai. So our expedition must survey the target area of wilderness to ferret out the ancient stash. Then we have to go dump it off. Sure. We might be able to pull that off. Remember, we need to safely carry a package for this mission. Enemy ships will confiscate it if they search us. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I think. Okay, so everybody's healthy. Our fuel tank is full. Somebody needs their drugs. So we're good. We're all set. Okay. Dump, dump, dump. Let's see before we go. Okay, missions. Lockbooks on Earth. There's only two jumps. Or is this, a, is this the same one? Maybe. Too long time to get this. So this is only two jumps away. So, waypoint. Navigate. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. So, traveling into space. Nobody's bugging us yet, which is good. But we've got a nice, healthy ship. Hey, Calfac, welcome back. So, this guy. So, he's this independent spy. 
Uh, he's not uh, equal to us. I don't think so. Free for all. Looky, looky. Vakruels wants to get beat up again in the free for all. Get him. Get him now. Okay. Close the combat range and all crew must be the inst stuff. Okay, so. Get closer. Talents. We're going to dodge our way in. We've got three evasive ma maneuvers ready to go. So basically what we have to do is we have to get closer. All of, we're outside of a range of all our weapons right now. Uh-oh. Alfac, 31 months with the resub uh, with Prime Gaming. Thank you very much. Let's get your uh, Rockets of Recognition for 31 months. There we go. Yep. Calfac, thank you very much for the continued support. Very much appreciated. Happy Friday. Okay, so. So, we're a little bit closer at 4 range. We need to get to 1 so we can board them, but can continue to advance. We've got six uh, reactor points uh, left over after moving forward, so that allows us to do what? These are three. These are two. So, we'll hit them with the rail guns. So we need two of those. We'll get a little bit closer. This talent will be targeting lock. Enemy is less likely to escape. It doesn't look like they're trying to escape, though. Does cause morale damage though, and reduces their defense. Bombardment reduces their accuracy, reduces damage, reduces armor. But this one is a uh, better accuracy for us, and does critical chances increased for the next returns. Thank you. Thank you for being there. Okay. <laughs> So they are engaging us, which is good. So they're bombarding us. Scatter shot, secondary explosions on the ship, which causes component damage. That's not good. Continue to advance. We're at range three, so let's uh, continue with the rail guns and our talent. We're still dodging. Let's we'll ship with accuracy and defense for the next two turns. What's this one? Furious prodding. Purges your ship's crew from crippling effects. Receives intimidate skill worth the morale for each 10 crew. Uh, let's do uh, accuracy and defense. Uh-oh. It's going to broadside us. But he missed. So he's not hitting us, which is good. We're dodging. Okay, range of two. Continue to advance. And this time we get to open up with more guns because we have uh, the auto cannons now. These are only one point each. And we have three left. So we could use either uh, the rail guns or plasma. Let's do a plasma. Or actually, we can turn this off into two plasma and two rail guns. We'll do that. And then for our talent, we'll do... So a dodge. Still has that. Raking fire. Where's the one that does damage to the crew? There we go. Signature homing. So, reduces their defense, reduces their armor. Does morale damage to the crew for the next three turns. Let's do that. And we'll be in boarding range this next turn. So that hurt. Now oh, now he's trying to get away. And we're in boarding range. So do this. Open up with the auto cannons. And turn one of our dodges back on so he can't hit us. So 
the cannons are tearing them up. And we board it. Okay, so we'll go with this group again. We've got uh, Gwydion back here at the long range. Gimpy with whatever he does. Hobo's our heat combat medic. And then Biff, the monster with the little pistol there. Okay, so terrifying accuracy. Let's buff up first. Okay, Gwydion, buff everybody. Hobo, look, you got a poison grenade. Okay, Biff, so... Causes bleeding. Range defense reduction for three turns. Removes all buffs on the target. So that would be you. So he's probably going to die fairly quickly. Unless somebody heals him. Okay, Gimpy with the buff. Gwydion. Let's do suppressing fire on this one. Biff, make that guy bleed. Hobo needs to heal badly. Gwydion, full auto, get them off the screen. Bleed that one. Okay, Hobo, heal everybody. Make that one bleed too. Or not. Still want to kill Hobo. Oh, Gimpy can't use. Gimpy is too close to use his uh, gun. So swamp with Hobo. Hobo, heal yourself. There's no more debuff. Hello, Gimpy. Damn it. It is time to take a break. After this fight. Go check on the dogs. Oh, look. Full Your auto again. Break is in two hours. Go, Gwydion. Okay, so. Now we get all these choices to do to their ship. Ugh. Okay. So, Hoda cord shells. After successful boarding, fire explosive shells into an already damaged area of the ship, disabling up to three components which have at least 40%, but less than 60% damage. 20% plus rifle damage. Disarming sabotage after successful boarding cripples two to four weapons, causing up to 40% uh, plus gunnery skill damage. Crossfire. Uh, let's see. Sprays the corridor and decks with hex uh, shell fire and leaves a trail of unwounded. Four enemy crews suffered 30 to 50 damage plus that. Throw a wrench into the things. Uh, chain reaction of death, damage of death to one component, minus the reactor points, component damage per turn, and damage, yes, yeah, so this is always good. Or the bio agent too, reduces morale and damage. This is from Hobo, so let's do that one first. Hobo's a meanie. Oh, can we do more? Guess we can. Uh, let's do crossfire. So, two things. So, their crew's gonna be taking a fair amount of damage. Kill oh, this has already killed two people. This is going to keep beating up on the crew for a while. Okay, so uh, let me uh, get up real quick, get some water, and stretch my legs, that kind of thing. If you've been watching the stream for any length of time, I suggest to do the same. I'll be back in a few minutes, and enjoy the video.